In this video today, I will be sharing with you not one, but three products that I took to 100K or more in revenue with my Shopify business. I'll be revealing them in today's video and also showing you exactly how I find products that do well over 100K for my business today. Now, before I show you any further, I do wanna quickly mention that I do offer one-on-one -on -one mentorship. So if you are interested, please just drop me a message on Instagram. It's a great way to have a second set of eyes, look at your business, whether it's Shopify or anything else, and identify clear ways of scaling and taking your business further. If this is the first time you're watching me, I've done over $10 million in sales with my Shopify businesses over the last few years. I also own a Google Ads agency, and I also spend over two and a half million pounds a year on Facebook ads. And one final thing, if it helps, you can see I have a Shopify award here for 100,000 orders that just sits on my desk as a, as a little reminder and a little way to sort of stay motivated. But anyway, moving on from that, I'm gonna start off by showing you one of the products, explain how it fitted into my business, exactly sort of when I sold it. I'll then be showing you the methods of which I still use today to locate and find new products. And then at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around till the end, I'll be revealing the other two products as well. So let's jump over to product one. If you are a familiar viewer and you have watched several of my videos in the past, you may know that I used to own a women's clothing brand. From the year 2017 up to about 2020, um, I owned a women's clothing brand primarily in uh, the UK and the USA is where this operated. And this was one of my winning products. This is one of the products that did well over $100,000 in sales over those few years. Now, just a quick disclaimer, I couldn't find the exact product on AliExpress anymore, but it is this product just without these graphics on the trousers. It was simply a split pair of joggers. One leg was black, one leg was white. There was no patterns on them. And that was the product. This is the closest example I could find on AliExpress today. With clothing, it is a very, very good way to get started. There are tons of products on AliExpress that you can test with clothing. And this is essentially how I got started with dropshipping. My first dropshipping business was a uh, UK clothing brand, but focusing mainly on uh, women's underwear. But obviously, when Facebook began to update their policies, it became very, very difficult to run any form of ad on Facebook, obviously advertising underwear, because there's a lot of skin showing, Facebook didn't like that, and it just resulted in too many ad rejections, and I couldn't take the business any further. So we shifted into women's clothing from the, the underwear sort of section, and this was all areas of women's clothing, and this, like I said, one of, was one of the products that did extremely well. It did extremely well in Q4, because obviously, the weather's getting colder, people are gonna to start to buy casual, uh, you know, casual clothing and clothes that, you know, people sort of relax and lounge around in. And this was a perfect example. And this was a perfect example. It did extremely well on Google ads. It had quite a lot of demand on Google, but it also did very well on Facebook as well. So that's the first product. Let's take a look at how I find products now. And I'll also give you a few examples that you could potentially test in this video as well. Now, all of these methods are gonna be without paid tools. I've never in my life used a paid product research tool. I can't vouch for them. I've never used them. You know, off the surface, it just seems to me like a way of, you know, if I'm paying to use a product research tool and a hundred other people are, or God knows how many thousands of other people are using the same tool, then, people are gonna just start finding the same products, they're gonna be recommended the same products and everyone's gonna be testing the same thing, which to me just doesn't make any sense. You wanna be finding products that aren't actually winners yet, but they're products that you could potentially turn into winners for yourself. So that's why I say here, you know, I personally don't like the term winning products, as this already suggests there's an item out there in the market doing well for someone else. Now that isn't a bad thing, but you can take this and instead of directly copying your competition, which is what pretty much every dropshipper does even to this day, you know, they sell the exact same item, use the exact same images, add copy, you know, they copy and paste the product descriptions and then they wonder why they're not getting any sales. But you can use this data and information, you know, if you see a winning product that's got however many orders, however many likes on Facebook or TikTok, use that to your advantage and look for a perhaps better version of it or go to a manufacturer and speak with them and you know ask them how you can make adjustments to the product to, to not only make it your own and sort of brand it and personalize, but 
make it even better. And as I've said in many videos before, it really is about building a long-term brand and not just a rubbish looking dropshipping store. So this first method, AliExpress, absolute classic. It, it still is a very good research tool to this day. Even if you don't end up fulfilling your orders through AliExpress, it's still a great way to find winning products. Now, again, a very similar to product to the one I've just shown you, but a great way to identify other products within sort of a similar category is just find a product listing on AliExpress like this one here. If you scroll down and click store, you can then go ahead and click the um, seller's store name. It will give you their own mini sort of website within AliExpress, their entire catalog. And you can go through and look at all of their products. Now it might not show you all their products like this on the homepage. A lot of stores, it rarely shows you uh, much. This is actually a very good example, but all stores will have this product section here. They'll be broken up into categories. You can look at individual categories like this, but I simply go to view all products and then you'll be able to filter by orders and then see a store's best selling products. Now, this is again, is a great example down the clothing niche. You, you know, you're gonna have so, it's 413 items just from this AliExpress seller alone. And it's just a very good way to, to look at a ton of products at the same time to get a very good idea. And like I said, the clothing thing is a great way just to test a, a lot of products at once. Um, but we'll, we'll lead on to that shortly in this video because it, it's not just as simple as adding, in this case, 400 products to your website and just hoping one of them works. Um, especially in this day and age, there's more you need to do, but we'll talk about that in a minute. And this really goes for any niche and any category. This is a great way, like I said, to give you a lot of products in front of you at once, you know, you can scroll down, you, you know, got 11 pages here. Now method two, something very simple is gonna be asking your fulfillment agents. If any of you are watching this and are drop shipping and you're not using a fulfillment agent, you probably should, you know, for a million and one reasons, better shipping times, better shipping prices, just, just better and it just helps your business run smoother. But moving on from that, I have an agreement with the fulfillment agent I work with in China and essentially every month, or so they will send me a list of products that you know they've seen around on the marketplace perhaps the the factories we work with are testing some samples and uh, new variations of products and they'll just send them over to me now i won't always test everything that they recommend because certain products obviously don't fit my brand they don't fit, fit the brand's message and they just would look a bit strange if i started to sell them but occasionally there will be some very good suggestions to work on key thing is here is to work on i don't instantly start selling another product i might apply my brand's logo to it, uh, customize the labels, uh, change the colors, use custom materials and things like that. But working with your fulfillment agent because they know better than anyone else. They're in China, they speak directly and work with the factories making the products. So they have a very good insight as to what's trending right now, what's working. And if you have an idea for a product that doesn't actually exist yet, just put it forward to them. They can go speak to a bunch of factories and potentially get samples made. And it's just a great way, again, to make new products, create new variations of products that don't exist. Now, leading on from that point I mentioned a couple of minutes ago, this is very important. Stop using the same imagery as everyone else. I mentioned this in so many videos. Yes, you can use, you know, bulk ad 50 products like that clothing example we've just looked at. So many people will copy and paste the descriptions. They'll use AI to write a one paragraph description. They'll use low quality blurry images that a million other dropshippers are using. And then they wonder why their store looks terrible and then they wonder why it's not getting any sales. You really need to consider, in fact not consider, you really need to just put the time and effort into improving the congruency of your website. Having consistency throughout and the clothing thing is a great example. Let's say you've got 300 clothing products on your site with 300 different models, you've got different imagery styles, you've got some products where the, the model's face is cut off, some product images with the face is showing, you know, some are very high quality because there are some high quality images out there. A lot of them are low quality. It would just look a complete mess because it's just look, it's all over the place. It doesn't look like a consistent brand that is creating their own content. I mean, a great example here is of this Couture Club brand in the UK. You can see they've got all of their own custom imagery. They're using, you know, probably just a handful of models in their pictures, but it's all the same image style. 
it, it just looks really good. It looks really premium. It really does build the trust of the business. It elevates your overall brand image and the perception and the value you're providing. This again applies to any route, uh, any category and not just clothing. Spend time, hire photographers, hire photo studios, get your own custom content for your business because you will stand out from every other dropshipper using and copy and paste that use and just copy and paste the images from AliExpress. And the final method I want to touch on today is going to be Alibaba. Now, AliExpress is great, but it really does just scratch the surface. AliExpress is heavily focused on the smaller products that are cheap and easy to ship, which results in obviously high competition from pretty much every other dropshipper who who tries it now if you work with a fulfillment agent like i do it is a great idea to spend some time and have a look on alibaba now they'll be able to negotiate shipping rates with factories they'll be able to negotiate bulk purchasing discounts your fulfillment agent can also arrange for your products to be stocked in overseas warehouses whether you sell in the uk or the usa uh, a brief example we regularly ship over 300 units of one of my best selling products to the usa that is split roughly 50-50 between an East Coast and a West Coast warehouse. Um, we just keep obviously an eye on the stock levels and as stock is sort of dwindling down, we send out another 300 plus units. So by the time that stock's run out, we've already got new stock into the warehouses. But that's just an example of how your fulfillment agents can help because it's more than just drop shipping from China. But essentially using Alibaba will allow you to test products that can't be found on AliExpress which means they can't easily be copied and drop shipped by other people. Very important. Alibaba is great for finding higher ticket items. It makes it a lot easier to customize the brand. It makes it a lot easier to customize the product, whether it's the packaging, the labels, your brand logo on the product somewhere, other customizations you wanna to make to the product. The dealing directly with the factories and the people who make the products opens up a world of possibilities. Again, to allow you to sell your own unique product that no one else can sell. Now, I just wanted to show you a couple of examples. These are fairly high ticket items, but again, they're not items that other dropshippers are gonna copy. If you're going down this route, this is usually for those with a higher advertising budget, but spend some time at Alibaba. You can find smaller products that are cheaper to ship and that can easily be drop shipped from China, but these are just some good examples and some good product categories that I found on Alibaba. Uh, one of them being um, electric adjustable desks. I use one myself. I paid about 300 pounds for it here in the UK. But if you look here, there's a ton, you know, around a, around the hundred dollar mark. There are obviously other costs involved whether you're customizing the product. Some of these people have minimum order quantities. But just bear in mind, I didn't go down this route to start with, with my current business. We've we've got an established business now, so we now are able to reinvest our profits. We've got good cash flow, but because we're at this stage now, we can start approaching sort of products like this and that can't be found on AliExpress or anywhere else, you know. So if you really want to think outside the box, Alibaba is a great way to do so. You've got things like garden furniture, again, are surprisingly cheap but obviously you might need a bit of capital to purchase a certain quantity and obviously you need that capital there as well to market and sell to people as well because selling something like this for four four five hundred dollars for example people aren't just going to buy on the first click after they see a facebook ad or, or a google ad for example it's going to take a lot of touch points so you're going to need that startup capital there but this is the sort of thing that once you get an established brand name for yourself and once you're an established business people will come to you and um and you'll see the benefits essentially from that early investment you've made and very quickly i've just gone to one of their promotional sections on alibaba they're going to list a bunch of advertisers uh, sellers here you know you've got apparel and accessories like we've just referred to you've got tons of different examples you've got uh, the beauty industry again you've got building materials you've got electronics you've got literally everything you can think of you've got gifts and crafts again home and garden uh, home appliances again is another good one coffee machines pizza ovens things like that just trying to give you a few examples here now i don't want this video to drag on too much so i'm going to quickly go through the last two products as promised this one here summer of 2019 tons of tie-dye products were doing incredibly well this one in particular did really really well in the summer obviously it's a sundress or a maxi dress and this just did really well on facebook and google especially google it, it really just beat so much of the competition we were ranked extremely highly in the uh, shopping results for a good sort of three or four months i think this product alone generated at least one hundred and fifty thousand dollars in revenue um during that summer just incredible 
But again, this probably wouldn't, wouldn't do very well now because that was a trend back then. And again, with clothing, you've got to keep on top of those trends. You know, I guess I got a bit lucky and was one of the first people on Google to sell such product. And finally, this is going to be another winter themed clothing product. I couldn't actually find the exact product on AliExpress, but essentially it was a women's corduroy jacket, but it was slightly cropped. So it'd sit just above the waistline, whereas this one here is, you know, it's quite a long coat. Imagine this coat cut off here where this line is. That is essentially what the product was. This was a fairly high priced clothing item, $89 or $99 I believe I sold it for. The cost price was more than this at the time, it was about $25 or £26. But again, I had my own custom image for this product. I got my partner, my girlfriend, to, to model this product for me. And that was the image we used on the Facebook and Google ads. And again, particularly with Google, it did incredibly well. And again, a side note, people think clothing items are only going to do well on Facebook. I had a lot of success with Google ads and clothing and fashion, so do bear that in mind. So I hope you found this video useful and enjoyed seeing some of the products that I sold a few years ago that did extremely well. And more importantly, the methods I've shared with you that I still use today to uh, find new products and expand my business's catalog. If you are interested in the one-on-one -on -one mentorship, drop me a message on Instagram. But other than that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.